hello everyone in this video i will show you that how to create a load balancer for ec2 instance so let's start as you can see i already logged in in a aws management console and now i will look for ec2 service here i just click on ec2 and for demonstration i already created uh, a test ec2 instance which is free tire uh, t2 micro uh, just for demonstration you now now click on that and copy this public address okay and uh, there we go and now it's locked uh, it will take a few minutes to log in and okay it's taking time too much i don't know why okay okay, okay now it's logging now type sudo su for root access now type docker ps oh, oh sorry spelling mistake docker ps as you can see it is running on port 8080 so you can run any application in a docker container node.js or any um, application for 3000 or 5000 it doesn't matter okay now uh, let me show you the one second okay now go to the load balancer option from your left side okay, click on load balancer and create a load balancer create application load balancer here HTTP and HTTPS create and give a name uh, this is for testing purpose so just typing test ELB means elastic load balancer okay it's an internet uh, facing and IPv4 okay and uh, if you don't know your security group you can also create here a security group then better it will if you create a, a new security group okay now i'm going to click create security group and give a name like test sg okay and uh, description could be anything test or whatever uh, add rules here you can and add here custom tcp is 8080 in my ip because my container is running 8080 that's why i custom tcp add custom tcp and here for ssh connection ssh from anywhere IPv4 or you can give a description anything like app this is your application code and this is for SSH whatever okay now create a security group so as you can see I it just create a test security group and open this 8080 and SSH okay that's fine now go to load balancer tab again and here just click on refresh okay now click this drop down menu and here you can find the test sg click on that and close this one okay now add listener https by default is port 443 and now you need to create a target group so click on create target group and here it's opening uh, basically we will attach an instance so that's why just choose instance and the basic uh, by default it will um, choose instance and give a name target group name uh, test uh, target group name tg you can put any name here and port 80 that's fine okay okay now click on advanced health check no no not here yeah click on advanced health check and uh, click on overwrite and our application running on port 8080 so 
Type type zero again here. And this everything is fine. Size so code is two hundred. Okay. Next. Okay. Target group is created. Uh, no, not created yet. Now you have to assign the instance. So as you can see, this is the available instance list, and I will choose the test instance here. And <clears throat> my application running on 8080, so change this one 8080, and include as a pending blow. So go down. See, it's pending. Now create the target group. Now target group is completed. Test TG. This is our target group. <clears throat> now again go to the load browser tab and refresh here. Refresh, refresh. Click the drop down menu. See the test TG is here. Click on that. Okay. And now you need to choose security policy from ACM. So you need to create an ACM and also you need to create a route 53 a domain otherwise you cannot uh, create a certificate or SSO click on <coughs> from ACM and select the certificate you need to create a domain address okay. so I choose my uh, a domain address from route 53 and then I think it's done yes okay now create a load balancer okay sorry I forgot to choose okay now test TG this is nothing but uh, I just select a test TG for HTTPS 443 not for the port 80 uh, so that's why I need to select the test group here also and now create the load group uh, sorry load balancer okay view the load balancer here see it's created now and now the second thing is go to listener and click on the view edit rules on port 80 then select on edit okay now click edit here delete this one and add action redirect to https and type the port of the https which is 443 by default now click hit and update okay so if someone try to open uh, this instance in a port 80 so it automatically redirects to 443 so that's why okay i think it's done now go to target group target group test dg target it in its, uh, if everything is okay then it will show you the success status it will take a few minutes just to wait or you can uh, refresh okay now it's see health check uh, is instance is healthy so that's it uh, load balances it's created that now you can use this load balancer in a route 53 or any other services. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.